just so everybody can see what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, we'll go up here with it. User shape. We're going to go to edit. And I'm going to right click on my corner. Come on, mouse. That was not a left click. I hate Mac mice. Okay. We're going to go around. I'm going to come over here. You know, I've got a radius size over here. I'm just going to radius this about a six inch radius. There we go. Going to right click over here. We're going to go around. Now this one, I want to be a 9 inch radius, and the same on this side. I don't just have to move my mouse this time because it's not going to let me go over 9. Escape on my keyboard to get out of my edit feature, zoom to fit, and here we go. <clears throat> I'm going to take a quick look at 3D. I'm going to have to resize 3D for you here. so. As soon as it builds up, bear with me. All right. Get it so it all fits in the screen for us here. Okay, so here's our 3D. We have not set our global specs yet, so this is our default cabinet. Zoom out a little bit. Rotate around so everybody can see the kitchen. There we go. Not a bad little kitchen design. Okay, now, before we, before we go into all the 3D features, we're just going to take a look quick here across some of these. Our navigation tools, pretty self-explanatory. Zoom in, zooms out. Now, whoops, wrong button. You can also use your mouse controls to navigate this. If I hold down my left mouse button, Move my mouse, moves my design. If I hold down my right mouse button, move my mouse, moves my design. So I'm going to move my design. I'm going to rotate here. I'm going to move it a little more center. I'm going to rotate. And I want you to keep an eye on this wall. Please keep an eye on that wall. As we come around, as that wall starts coming into view, it disappears. As we swing on around here, now keep an eye on this wall and this wall. Wait, you can't. This one's gone. Keep an eye on it anyway. Disappear, disappear. As this one goes out of view, whoops, as this one goes out of view, it's going to come back in. Same thing with this little guy underneath here. As it comes into view, it disappears. As it goes out of view, the ones next to it come back in. Okay. So there's that guy. Let's go in and we're going to set our global specs here and we're going to come back and play with a few more features in 3D here in a moment. So close. Come over to my global... Oh. Alright, bear with me a second. Okay. We're back. You didn't know I went anywhere. Well, I guess you did. <laughs> There's a little flash on the screen that said I did. Um, shouldn't happen to you. I've got like 60 catalogs installed on mine, so it kind of uses an extreme amount of system resources, and sometimes it crashes. I need to go through and delete a bunch of those catalogs off of there. God only knows why I need 60 different catalogs, but I do. Okay, so we're going to come in here and set our global specs. We're going to come from this little icon right here, and you notice it says, please click to select. Each and every one of these things that says please click to select has to be clicked and selected before you can get pricing. So please click to select. Uh, whoops, got to get a right catalog here first. Sample catalog, there we go. Please click to select. Do full overlay. And do I want full overlay? I don't want full overlay. I want standard half overlay. And we're going to do miter. And if you look, when you choose something here, shows up in the in our info panel which makes it really nice in case you don't have a clue what you're doing like like I do ha. okay what I do mitered I think I did number one <laughs> not we might have a goofy looking little 
thing. Want to do that one? Wood species. Just pick your poison. I'm just I'm just picking something. So yeah, I'm just gonna do a sanding on it and okay. All right, I've got everything picked here. Close out of this guy. We're gonna do our 3D again. Okay, and there's our 3D. And so you can see we've got the colors we've chosen. And you'll notice this wall here is still going away. Do I dare try? Sure, why not? We'll just do this. Minimize that way. We're going to come down here to, to keep this guy from going away. If we come down here and click on wall, our wall groups, uh, it's off the screen again. Okay, now it'll be on the screen. Wall, and wall number three, and attributes. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to place a zone on the outside of it. And now, when I go back to my 3D, it'll stay there. There we go. Okay, so now we've got our 3D up here. We've looked at these guys. Save, pretty self-explanatory. Spin it around, get the view you want. Click Save. That way it'll save it as a, a PDF so you can go ahead and email those to your customer. Print, same thing. Spin it around, click on Print. Print off a nice little picture for you. Door Style. If you click on your door style here, we can come in here and change our door style. Now we have a full overlay door style. We can change our wood species if we want. When I click on OK, well, we better put a color on here, hey? There, ooh, there we go. Visible. Now, any settings you change here, they only, and I'm going to repeat this, they only change in 3D. Any settings you change here do not change your global specs. So if I close this 3D and I reopen this 3D, my beautiful white cabinets will be gone. They will come back with the hickory cabinets that we originally selected. Um, countertop, we can come in here and we can change our countertop. Flooring, we'll put carpet on there. Um, you can change your ceiling. Hide invisible walls. I'm going to click hide invisible walls. And now as I rotate around, remember how I, when we rotated around, this wall disappeared? Well, it's going to do it again, but it's going to take a few cabinets with it. Before you say anything, yes, the countertop still sticks out here. That's because it's attached to both walls. If we deleted the countertop, it would not work quite right. So, But that just makes it a whole lot easier if you got to get an image of this side of getting in there, especially if you have a big kitchen with multiple walls in it. Really handy. Whoops was the wrong button. Okay, went to click on hide invisible walls again. Turns them off. Open closed doors. If you click the open do closed door feature and this happens, then your catalog is set up for open close. If you click open close and this happens, then your catalog is not set up for open close. You don't need to call me and tell me it doesn't work. I'm already aware. And it's just simply some manufacturers chose not to have that feature. Refine button. Now that does something, but you didn't probably catch it. Okay, here we go. Notice my jaggy lines, all my jaggy lines. Click my refine button, my jaggy lines go away. Light, we can change with, play with the light. Make it bright, set a little mood lighting. There we go. 
HD, click on this and it'll generate a high def. I have a, de a video on that one, so uh, go watch the high def video. Exit gets me out of here. Zoom to fit's going to center up my design again. Where'd my zoom to fit go? There we go. Okay, so we've pretty much done all of this. Let's take a look at our reports because that's no, well, let's do an isometric. Isometric is 3D in black and white and gray scale. <laughs> Same thing. Hold down your right mouse button to move it that way. Whoops. There we go. Left mouse button, right mouse button. Again, I have a hard time with those on my Mac. So, there you go. And all your features up here, pretty much the same, except for you missed a bunch in here because you can't change colors on things. So, there's that. <clears throat> Manufacturer report. This is going to generate a report and print it out um, the way the manufacturer wants it. Um, I do one, but there's no pricing in, in sample catalog, so it doesn't generate a report. And there's no manufacturer, so. Okay. We're going to do a customer report. This is probably one you'll use the most anyways. Now, customer report was this guy right here. In order to get your pricing, now again, I already said sample doesn't have any pricing in here, but you must click on your catalog, and then you must make sure that you include catalog and customer report. The reason this is, you could have multiple catalogs.